What's up internet? I am Manish from rebellionrider.com and I am back once again with another PL SQL tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will learn what PL SQL ref cursors are in Oracle database. A little bit knowledge of database cursors will be required for the better understanding of this tutorial. Fortunately, we already have a series covering the concepts of cursors. You can find that the link as always is in the description. I suggest you to watch those tutorials. So without further wasting your time, let's start this PL SQL tutorial and learn what are ref cursors in Oracle database. Ref cursor is an acronym of reference to a cursor. It is a PL SQL data type using which you can declare a special type of variable called cursor variable. Unlike static cursors, which we have already discussed on this channel, a single cursor variable can be associated with multiple select statements in a single PL SQL block. On the other hand, a static cursor can only access single select statement at a time. Cursor variables and ref cursors are two interdependent topics. So do not get confused with them. Just take them as in Oracle database, cursor variables exist in the form of ref cursors. Let's go ahead and see how many types of ref cursors we have in Oracle database. There are two types of ref cursors in Oracle database. These are strong ref cursors and weak ref cursors. Strong ref cursors. Any ref cursor which has fixed return type is called strong ref cursor. Let's see the syntax of a strong ref cursor. And here it is. The return type of a cursor must always be of record type only. It can either be a record structure of a table or a user defined record structure. You can refer PL SQL tutorial 40. 41 and 42 to learn more about record data types in Oracle database. Weak ref cursors. In contrast to strong ref cursors, weak ref cursors are those which do not have any return type. In simple words, those ref cursors which do not have fixed return type are called weak ref cursors. Such cursors are most frequently used ref cursors as they are open to all select statements. Whereas strong ref cursors can only be used with those select statements that returns the result whose data type matches with the one that you have fixed during the strong cursors declaration. Let's take a look at the syntax of weak ref cursors in Oracle database. Except from the missing written clause, the syntax is pretty much similar to the strong ref cursors. Apart from a strong and weak ref cursors, Oracle database also provides us with one more type of special cursor variable. Before talking about that, I just want to take a quick second to ask you to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, then do make sure to subscribe. You can also help others in learning as well as help us and our channel in growing by sharing this video on your social media. Thanks. Now let's come back to our topic. So we are talking about that special cursor variable provided by Oracle. It is known by the name of sysref cursor. Sysref cursor is an Oracle built in cursor variable. It declares a weak ref cursor and that too without declaring the ref pointer type. We will see what that means when we will do a separate video on sysref cursor. Till then stay tuned and do subscribe because in upcoming videos we will do the examples of a strong and weak ref cursors as well as sysref cursors. Also do make sure to like and share this video. This is a quick introduction to PL SQL ref cursors slash cursor variable in Oracle database. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.